Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play The Minish Cap, Part 3. And this is post-commentary. Because uh, my commentary through the actual original recording slapped. So, I deleted it. <laughs> uh, basically what was wrong with it is that it was late at night when I recorded this, and I just... Uh, I wasn't feeling very energetic. I was sort of half sleepy. So, um... I just wasn't very um, energetic at all. So, um, we light up the four um, torches using the switches, and we get our first small key. <laughs> oh yeah, I skip pretty much all of the Ezlo conversation, so don't expect any voice acting with 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 Ezlo's voice because I skip it all. Cause I'm like, screw you, shut the fuck up. I don't want your shit right now, cause. He does, like, comment on every single little thing, and it just got so annoying. <laughs> I, I, I just couldn't be bothered with it. <laughs> oh, I fell, like, a few times on this. Because, I <laughs> because, um, I let go of the direction, I let go of the directional button. And then my first time picking up a ruby, because I actually had to re-record this, um, like actually replay it, because when uh, after finishing part two, I forgot to save state, and I believe I forgot to save state um, after recording this part as well. So when I get round to recording part four, I'll be um, I'll have to replay through this dungeon again. <laughs> But I'll do everything exactly the same. Like getting all the heart pieces and everything. Because I do get that all the heart pieces. Um, these guys are really annoying because you can't actually <laughs> yeah, do some speed walking. Speed walk me And um I every time I play this game, when I get to this bit I always do that. Every single time. It's like it just has to happen at least once. Every time I play this dungeon, it just every time I play this game, that just has to happen. I keep running into it. Because you can't kill them. <laughs> you can only knock them back. And because he was against the wall already, I just kept walking into it. But anyway, now we can move the the big um, barrel of death. The destruction. And um, we can um, think, yeah. yeah, I'm terrible, so I'm terribly sorry about this. <laughs> this this isn't all that great either, but it's a bit more energetic and a bit more random. And slightly less annoyed. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised I haven't skipped this. I think I was just con I think I was just saying about how much he how much he comments and everything. And the stupid fly. It doesn't get me for once, oh my god. Usually that takes like half a health from me. half health from me. Because I keep running into it. <laughs> and here he goes talking about crap that you've already done before. It's like yes. I've already I already know how to pull and push. I've already used I've always I've already implemented it. I mean you have to push objects to get the jab and that and to enter the temple in the first place. So it's like, um, I already know how to push. And also it says on the, like, at the top, pull, or grab, rather. And then some more speed walking. I do this a lot. Expect this to happen when I've got lots of walking to do. Then I go through the wrong way. And I'm like, fuck. It's the other way you're supposed to go through it, now that you have the key. Yeah, I go to the left for some reason. Don't know why that is. So I completely miss. So I completely miss the staircase again. Then I start you know, then realize this was just a complete fail, but I eventually get through. Finally. I tried going up here because I forgot what was up here, but that's just the way forward. 
So it's no biggie. Oh, my thingy's going down. Brightness, because it is going to be screen saver. I should probably plug my computer in soon. Currently got it on the battery, and it's quite low battery. Yeah, I implemented speed walk there. Um, I've I've been calling um, the emulator speed up, um, speed walking, especially in this game. Ever since I watched um, Pickles, um, Pickle four 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 four, I believe that's his name. I watched his. LP, I'm wa I'm rewatching his LP of this. Um, I'm rewatching his LP of this, um, so I can remember what to do. So, uh, if I ever, so when I say speed walk, I go, yeah, speed walk! I'm totally um, copying that from him, and I apologize. Because what, what's the one thing am I. Because the one thing I'm constantly saying to myself is to stop copying other LPs and come up with my own stuff, but I'm completely unoriginal, so I can't do that. I mean. I show my unoriginality when I when I, when I did Ash's voice in part one, and vaguely did um, Professor Oak's voice from Pokemon Bridge. <laughs> With the husks of corn. <sighs> I really gotta stop doing that. It's like Twilight Princess. I have a habit when I pick up a recovery heart. I have a, I have a habit of going, "It's a piece of heart." Or uh, rather, it's a human heart. Which was also from Pico. Well, technically, it's from Josh Jepson as well, because Josh uh, Josh <laughs> Josh Jepson <laughs> Josh Jepson says it as well. So um, I kind of copy both of them when I say that. But yeah, um, there's that switch there. I'm not even talking about the game. I'm just talking about how I should s stop copying other LPs. I'm not even paying attention to what's happening on screen. Um, I do that a lot during post commentary. <laughs> I just get sidetracked with 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 what I, with what I'm currently saying that I completely forget what's happening on screen. I do that in parts in part sevens of Twilight Princess of post commentary too, uh, which might be a while until I upload that because at the moment I am actually focusing on this. So anyone who's subscribed to my main channel, I apologize. Uh, that's not going to get updated anytime soon. So I'm, at the moment, I'm focusing on Minish Cap, so I get this done in time. Because as I said in the last part, I do want to get this done by um, the 30th of July, which is my which is my birthday. So I so I can feel accomplished in finishing a Zelda game um, and an LP in general. Um, for my birthday. And we get the Gus Jar. Um, this is a, a snazzy little um, item because we can blow and suck. Uh, we'll mainly be doing a lot of sucking, but it's fun to make blow jokes so <laughs> when you accidentally press the button. So. I take off these cobwebs. Um, down the bottom leads to a heart piece. I do eventually get that, but what I mainly do with this is I I pick up all the dust because now that we have it, we can suck up the dust and reveal switches, and switches and stuff and chests and stuff and things like that. So I'm just doing that at the moment, but I do eventually go back for the heart piece. Don't worry. There I go, pressing the wrong buttons. <laughs> then I thought I'd blow that wall. And we get ten mysterious shells, because they're very mysterious. We're not sure what they're there for, but let's hold on to them for now. Well, I can tell you exactly what they're for. There's, uh, in, ta in the town, um, you can't really unlock it until um, after uh, the second temple, but... But if, but in the town there is actually, um, 
yeah, I end up pushing things through the doorway. But in the town, there is um, a shop that trades in the mysterious shells for um, for figurines. Another reason why I won't be helping 100% in this game because I'd mean finding all the mysterious shells or as many as I can find and and getting all the figurines, which is a bother. I haven't even done that on my 90% completed file on my actual Game Boy, let alone in an LP. Here goes SLO, commentating on every single, every two seconds again. I mean, it's, it's, it's not, it's not as bad for me because it's my, it's a let's play. I'm supposed to comment over everything. But he's an in-game character. It's just annoying when he does it. But yeah, we use the gust jar um, as a sort of a, as a sort of back pedal sort of kind of thing to move the lily pad around. So we can so we can venture across the waters safely as Minish Link, because we don't have the um, upgrade to swim yet. So, <laughs> for some strange reason, I kept pressing the R button rather than the A, rather than the A button. So that's why I'm just constantly um, trying to grab crap when trying to use the gas jar. Ah, oh, there's a bit of a lag. I don't know. You're probably seeing this as well, but I'm getting a bit of lag on my screen. Not good. But, you know. That's just my. That's just where my computer's getting hot. It always gets hot. Speaking of my computer, I should probably plug it in. Uh, before it dies on me. Don't want that happening. Especially since I'm recording. Uh, let's see now. Oh, yeah. We get the small key in that chest. So now we just need to head back to where we came from and head northwards. No, not that way. There we go. Now you've got it right. Said you got stuck in that little rectangle. That little L there. I don't know why I call it a rectangle. Oh. This is this em enemy placement is almost as bad as the one skull sculpture in Twilight Princess because you're barely gonna stop to go thing. So the slugs just come down and fall straight into the water and die. So it's like the point of that was. <laughs> it's just so stupid. Um, I believe I fail um, quite miserably. There we go. Yeah. I do it too far. Then <laughs> I fall in the water again. I step back a bit, which again was a bad idea because I still go too far. I eventually do get to there. Ah, uh, failure. It's always hilarious in an LP. Okay, and we open this chest to find. You got the big key. Use it to open big doors. Yeah, that's right. I got a big key. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Hey kids, look at my big key. Uh, something. Uh, uh, that was a fail. Um, I tried to implement an old stream meme. Um, uh, what I had when I streamed this once ooh, ages ago. Once upon a time. Um, where I had this inside joke that every time I picked it, a big key, um, I would say in Solid Snake's voice, um, in my snake impression, with my snake impression, Hey kids, look at my big, look at my big key. And stuff like that. It was funny back then, but I just tried to do it and it wasn't very funny at all. <sighs> at least I don't think so. It was, it was quite quite weak, to be fair. But anyway, we're at the boss. 
and this lone choo choo jelly is entering atop the thing. What's what's all this? If you couldn't already tell by now, um, it turns out that the Choo Choo Jelly is in fact the first boss. Of all things to be a first boss, it's a Choo Choo Jelly. These things actually get harder as you progress. I believe in the fourth temple, you, you go, have to go against two. And they're both the electric ones as well. I believe that I believe that's the case. Yeah, I completely fucked that up because I accidentally blew him with the gas jar instead of um, then I then I go pressing the R button again. Uh, this, this this whole battle was a complete fail. <laughs> this whole LP is a fail to be honest, but it's fun to do. So I don't have any qualms against that. It is fun to do. Ugh, excuse me. I'm doing the work, I'm doing the map of place. Uh, so basically, um, I should probably talk about how you, how you beat this guy. Um, it, um, basically, you just suck his legs up until eventually his, it gets so small that uh, he starts to trip over like this. And it's always um, a good tactic to roll underneath him. Because he does try to land on you, so if you can roll him, he does tend to actually fall over quicker. At least that's from what I've seen anyway. Uh. Pardon me, I just yawned again. Uh, not fun. Um, I believe he's on his last phase now. You can tell when he's on his last phase. No, he's not. You can tell when he's on his last phase because he starts jumping around a lot after he gets back up again. So this is like his second to last phase. Where he does start to jump a bit more, but nowhere near as much as his last phase. <laughs> then I miss again. And I only get two shots in. If I hadn't missed, I could probably weaken him pretty well. In fact, if I hadn't missed the first one completely, uh, this boss would have probably been an over by now. Ah, I've got to start yawning. But yeah, he's definitely in his last phase now. As you can tell, he's just jumped about five times. And it would help if I um, used the gas jar the, the correct correction. No one knew that words. English language, how does that work? It'd help if I actually uh, um, used the gas jar the correct way. You know, not the opposite way. Oh, he did actually have a you know. Do I beat him? Yes, I did. So that's him done. I basically have to do. Um, I failed, completely failed at it. So, um, don't copy what I did there. <laughs> but. <laughs> But that's essentially what you do. Uh, suck up his legs and then kick the absolute shit out of him when he when he's on the floor. And we get the earth element. The earth element is the embodiment of that power. And I almost forget to pick up the heart container. That would have been bad. But fortunately, I do remember it before I end up going for the thing. Like, ah, we got the earth element. We must go tell the elder at once. Yeah, I did actually voice act that part because now that he's in comedy, 
commentating on every single fucking thing, he's a bit more bearable. And here I go, speed walking again. So, you found the Earth element. You are blessed with much courage and strength for one so young. If your conviction holds strong, head to Mount Krenner. There, you will find a man named Melari. Among all the Millish, the Minish even, I made the exact same mistake first time, there is no one more able to repair your sword. If you ask him, I am certain you will be forged the broken Picori blade. I shall send word to him in advance. Travel safely. You are brave, but there are many evils now in the world. And there I go yawning again. <laughs> I speedwalk the old guy to open the curtains faster as well. Funny, funny stuff. It's actually really not. Great Elder, we're in your den. We shall, we shall help Mount Cradle at once. And uh, we don't do that this part, that'll be in the next part. But what I do do though is I do get the bombs. Here we go. Green clothes in a Mr. Cat. Sir, would you be by chance a link? The one found the earth element? The one who found the earth element, rather. Come on, what the hell am I doing? There we go. Surely you are! I have heard so many tales about you. Yeah, despite the fact we literally only did it two minutes ago. I'm Bellari, researcher of antiquities. I am also, well, a bit of an inventor. You know, you won't be able to get back to town due to all the debris. Here, I had something that might come in handy. And we get the bomb bag, and we also get a lot of audio lag. Like. It has ten bombs in it, wow, whoopee. Um, so yeah, this is getting towards the end of the episode, so I shall grow big, and after growing big, I shall see you in the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap. And I'll see you guys next time.